China National Aero Technology Import and Export Corporation, or CATIC, stunned the international audience by presenting a scale model of the J-35A, the land-based version of China's newest fifth-gen stealth fighter. The J-35A was officially revealed back in November at the Zhuhai Air Show, after more than a decade of secretive development by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. This marks China's second fifth-generation fighter after the J-20, which, interestingly, is not for export, but was still showcased at the Paris event. While the original J-35 is designed for China's aircraft carriers, the J-35A has been specially adapted for land-based operations under the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Reports say it first took to the skies in September 2023. Although the J-35 previously made its international debut in Abu Dhabi in February, this is the first time the J-35A has been seen outside Chinese borders. China is aggressively pushing to increase sales of its military aircraft. While Western nations, wary of upsetting the United States, are avoiding Chinese jets, developing nations in the Middle East and South Asia are showing strong interest. In a major development, Pakistan confirmed that China has offered to sell 40 units of the J-35, a deal that could become the aircraft's first international export. Alongside the J-35A, Katik also promoted the J-10CE, the export version of China's J-10C multi-role combat aircraft. Often compared to the American F-16, the J-10CE is already operational in Pakistan. The Pakistan Air Force has been flying the J-10C since 2022, with 20 aircraft currently in service. During Operation Sindor, these jets were reportedly used to intercept and shoot down two Indian Rafale fighter jets, according to a Reuters report. Ironically, the French-made Rafale was also featured at the Paris Air Show, flying alongside the American F-35A and Europe's Eurofighter Typhoon. Meanwhile, Egypt is reported to have received its first batch of J-10CEs, following a deal signed last year, although no official confirmation has been made by either side. Another star of the Chinese lineup was the JF-17 Thunder, a joint project between Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chengdu Aircraft Corporation. With around 120 JF-17s in service, it's a cornerstone of Pakistan's air fleet, alongside the J-10C and the American F-16. Indian media has claimed that a JF-17 was shot down during clashes with Pakistan, a claim strongly denied by Islamabad. In another disputed report, Pakistan alleged that hypersonic missiles fired from a JF-17 destroyed India's advanced S-400 air defence system in Punjab, a statement that New Delhi firmly dismissed as completely wrong. As military technology races ahead and tensions rise across regions, China's growing presence on the global arms stage is no longer just a prediction, it's becoming a reality. The question now is, who's buying and what's next? If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more global military updates and analysis.